guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup products for beginners video. That was kind of a mouthful. I'm just going to just kind of speed through this, you know? I don't know. So first, actually I'm just going to go in order of the face, like stuff that I normally do. First I go in with primer. This is the NYX Angel Girl Primer and then the e.l.f. Blemish Control Face Primer. I like this one for whenever I have really bad breakouts, acne. I mean, I'm kind of breaking out right now, but I didn't use that one today. And then this one, the Angel Veil one, is good for if you want a nice matte look. And these are both very, very affordable. Next, for foundation, I have three. If you can't tell, this is a drugstore one. This is my NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. You guys have seen this one plenty of times. The e.l.f., I think this is the Acne one, in the shade Sand. Yeah, there's really no name on this. I'm just like ingredients in the back. And then the next one is like one of my favorites from the drugstore. I love all three of these. This one has to be my favorite. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Desert Beige. All these serve different pur different purposes. This one gives me more of a fuller coverage if I mix this one with a darker shade. This one gives me a good coverage like for acne. It doesn't really clog my pores or anything. And this one I build up from light to medium or medium to full because that is how great of a foundation this one is. Next for concealers, I've got two brands. That's not the one I wanted to grab. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealers in the shade Light, Medium, Beige, Medium, Tawny, and Dark Cocoa. You guys have seen me wear these three out so much. Because I love them and I love pairing them with the Wet n Wild foundation, which is such a good combo. And then the next two, I had the other one in a drawer, I just didn't grab that one. These are the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealers. I do like these ones, but they dry super duper fast. If you saw in the video that I just filmed on this look, I did one side with this and then I immediately blend it out. Because if I didn't, I would have like the harshest lines just going on in my face, so... Go fast with these, you can delay with these. <laughs> Next for powders. I don't have a face setting powder, but I do have banana powders that I really, really, really love. The Ulta Press Setting Powder in the banana shade, and then the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in banana. You guys know how much I love these two. I've been using this one a lot lately. If you can't tell, I hit pan this week. <laughs> really sad about that. And this one is just still going strong. See, I made a little bit of a dent in there. I don't know if you can really see that, but I made a little bit of a dent in here. So everything is starting to move around nice and smooth. Next for bronzers, I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer with SPF 15. This is the shade Bikini Contest, number 740. This one I used on my face today, and I really do like it. When I used it before, there wasn't a lot of like color payoff that came off of it, but when I used it today, I was like, wow, that's a lot. For my bronzer, I did the e.l.f. bronzer palette. These ones are removable, as I'm looking at the back right now. And I picked this one up at Walmart, and I use this mainly as contour. I mainly go in with these two shades right here. These ones right here are more shimmery, but they do have a darker one, and I may pick that one up because this one is just teeny weeny bit too light for me. I'm just going to throw blush and highlighter together because blush and highlighter really do go hand in hand. First up is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Natural Glow. It just smells like a tropical paradise. I don't use this one as much. This is more like my summer blush just because of the smell. Duh. Oh, another bronzer that I didn't bring out was the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. You guys know that one. It smells super good. Next blush I have is the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Romantic Rose. I use this one way soon. Wait, 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 way too much on my channel, as you guys know. But it is such a good blush. It's nice, mauve tone. It's not going to overpower your look. It's going to give you a nice little flush on the cheeks. Now this one and highlighter, I decided to put these two hand these two hand in hand because the Makeup Revolution um, Ultra Blush Palette does have two highlighters in it right here. This is the Hot Spice Palette. 
I don't go for this one as much, but I will whenever I just want to use a two-in-one palette with the blushes and the highlighters. So I'll do that. It's a really good palette too. I don't really go for this bright pink one, just because I'm not like a bright pink on my cheeks kind of girl. And then my highlighter, I don't even think I need to introduce this one. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. Um, Wet n Wild did come out with a highlighter quad. I haven't picked that one up yet just because I'm not really a fan of green highlighters or blue. So I'm just going to stick with my single ones. Not single ladies. Next up for brows. These two are new additions. This is the Milani Stay Put Brow Color in Soft Brown 01 and then Brunette 04. I use these on my brows today and I really do like it. Um, I do need to practice more with pomades because I'm so stuck on using pencils. This one is the NYX Eyebrow Powder Pencil in the shade Taupe. This one is like my ride or die. Um, so yeah, I really do like these two. I do need to practice with them more. They have other colors, but I stick more only towards the browns. You guys know I don't like dark eyebrows. I just like them to kind of blend in with me, so which is why I normally use a pencil. Next up, we've got some eyeshadows eyeshadows. I'm going to go with the recent purchased one. This is the LA Girl Eye Lux Mesmerizing Eye Quad Eyeshadow Quad. <laughs> I guess that's the name for it. This one is in the shade Eternalize. Then I had the other one in Idolize. And these are really good basic quads if you just want to stay with a simple look like this. Next is the Wet n Wild Eau Naturale Palette. Eau Naturale. As you guys can tell, it's got your very neutral natural colors essentially and it's a good palette it's got some really pretty shimmers really pretty dark ones dark shadows if you want to go for your dark look go from day to night really versatile palette so go ahead and pick this up if you can Whew, told you guys it was gonna go through this fast next i have two nyx palettes the nyx ultimate shadow palette in the shade warm neutrals and then the nyx avant pop palette in the shade no Nouveau chic Mm -hmm. This one is a good neutrals palette. Duh. Warm neutrals. And this is a good... I don't know. It's got all your colors in there. It's got your browns, greens, blue, purple. It literally has the cool tone rainbow. Which is exactly what it is. <laughs> this one I think is a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I, haven't, I don't have it, but I saw a picture of this and I compared it to the Urban Decay one and it looks pretty similar. Now, I, I, eyeliner, not eyeshadow. I have the Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Black Blue. You guys know I love these. These are super, super creamy and easy just to glide onto your waterline. This one is a new addition. This is the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner in the shade 01 Black is Black. I just picked this one up along with the eyebrows. And I haven't tried it out yet, but I am looking forward to it because I have another Milani one, but... I like to see what I'm working with. Next is the NYX Retractable Eyeliner in the shade Aqua Green. I have a couple other ones. I don't really go towards these ones as much as I do my Pixie by Petra ones, but these are good ones, especially when you really do want a bright pop of color on your waterline. Next up, we got some mascara. This is the Ulta Legendary Lengths Mascara. I don't use this one as much just because it's a brown mascara. But it is a good one if you want to stick with the no makeup makeup look. Next, since we just did mascara, I'm going to go in with lashes. I was going to put these on today, but because I don't have the right pair of tweezers to put these on, I, you know, just struggled and just said, no, I'll do these later. But I did feel these out, and these are super duper fluffy. They don't even feel like fake eyelashes. They feel like real eyelashes. <laughs> so yeah, if you can find these ones at your drugstore, Walmart, Target, whatever, Pick these ones up. These are the Ardell Faux Mink Luxurious Lightweight with Not Free Invisiban. It comes in the black and white package, so you can always remember that. Last but not least is lips. I have the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Soft Spoken. I don't use this one as much, if it, but if you watched a few of my earlier tutorials, I definitely lean more towards this than I did my higher end ones, so that's saying something about NYX. Next is Milani 
uh, Amori Matte Lip Cream in this shade Sugar. Picked this one up yesterday as well, the other day as well. It's a nice dark one, even though I have a few dark ones going on right now. I did swatch this one. I haven't played with it on my lips yet, but I am interested to see how it looks. This is the one that I have on my lips right now, and I'm absolutely in love with it. First time's a charm, I guess. This is the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Cinnamon Toast. Holy cow, I love this. It's comfortable on your lips. I still feel the lip balm that I put on before, so my lips aren't too dry. And... Yeah, I love this one. I picked up a darker color, but I really wanted to stick with like a nude. So that's what I did today. <sighs> and I'm so sorry for turning my camera on and off. My battery is full. I promise you that, but it's kind of freaking out right now. So after this, I'm probably just going to put it on the charger and see what it does. Um, I hope you guys liked this um, drugstore makeup product for beginners video. I do have a high-end one planned. And you guys will see that one very shortly. If you guys like this video, despite all my interruptions and stopping and going, please click that subscribe button right here, followed by the little bell, and also give this video a thumbs up for more makeup. I don't really know if I can do makeup for beginner videos anymore. Um, I can do looks on them. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!